Okay, now I'm preparing to uh, enlarge the hole for the uh, through hole bearing. The new one is larger, so we have to make the hole bigger. Now, how am I going to drill a hole with a hole saw? Well, initially I thought maybe I'm making a plug and putting it on a board and having a weight from above with a center hole in it. Uh, but I discovered, uh, you know, I might be able to just do this. I tapered the wood plug. I'm going to be drilling from the bottom. So we'll tap it in place. And if I'm careful, it should cut the hole uh, without moving out of there. So I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. covered with fiberglass dust but looks like she went I'm gonna have to just trim a little bit with a file and the new bearing will go in place looks pretty good Here's the plug still in and the fiberglass is evenly dimensioned all the way around. That worked out perfectly. Here is a uh, 2 and 3 8 inch hole saw. That's what I used for the bearing that I made according to the plans I've listed on the uh, Chrysler Sailors documentation page it's in a PDF form and the only problem was I <laughs> when I drew it I drew the th threads a left hand instead of right but uh, that's all explained in the video and on the paper so if you make the larger bearing and replace it that's the way to do it here are the uh keel trunk, the keel trunk uh, facing forward on the boat. There's where your keel pin brackets mount. The little, uh, that's where it was rubbing, the keel was rubbing when it goes up and down with that side pressure that they have. Uh, I epoxied all of that now. The front of the keel uh, trunk had a big crack in there and had been patched evidently. They might have let the key cable snap once or had it down and it cr crushed that. So I've been filling it 
um, all day this is the third layer of uh, West System epoxy and um, what I've been doing is mixing it up, thickening it and uh, with uh, 404 filler uh, thickener and cutting up a uh, glass mat into half inch three quarter inch hairs mixing it all in and packing it up in there and you got to be careful you can't put too much at a time because when she kicks if it's too thick it'll start it'll get real hot and I could feel a little warmth right now there's a little warmth there for the, from the last coat uh, so I got one more to put on I'm hoping to get that done today and the rest of the keel trunk looks good. I removed the uh, through hull and to check it out and uh, I thought it was plastic but it's actually bronze and had a little wear on the one side so I'm going to just turn it 180 when I put it back and it looks like it'll go for another 36 years. hoping to get the keel back in next week and everything completed. What I've done uh, after I coated the keel and it's all cured now, I put a uh, high density polyethylene quarter inch uh, plate on the side <clears throat> where the keel pin goes through and to take up some of that slack. It's three inches between the plates, uh, the brackets, and we got about two and seven eighths on between this side and the other side. Uh, this is the <clears throat> starboard side, and I uh, used three brass flathead 632 screws and drilled and tapped into the and countersunk them. So this will help keep the keel from rubbing up on the starboard side of the keel trunk. <clears throat> on this side I have a smaller disc which will uh, and it's less than a quarter inch uh, and that's going to take up uh, uh, some of the slack on that side against the center of the uh, keel bracket and then of course you have your um, nylon rod that comes through the side of the keel trunk up above that pushes against this side and that's why the other side of the starboard side of the keel trunk um, had some wear which I had to fix with epoxy All right, we got a new cable, 3 16 7 by 19, swaged on in, thimble, new Harkin uh, clevis, uh, <clears throat> the keel is all ready to go in, it's all marked up, I marked the uh, center line of the boat where the pin should be and uh, when the bottom of this is level even with here the pinhole should be lined up as long as the lines are in line attempting to replace the keel pin and keel and jack it up with a three ton floor jack same jack I used to remove it. Okay, here's the keel. Reinstalled. Successfully. My keel was in pretty darn good shape too. Some surface pitting Here's my two noisy helpers. See? 
Every time you want to do a video, they want to talk. Yeah. So, I took this uh, keel out by myself and I put it back in by myself. Requires a little bit of climbing in and out of the boat, but it can be done. I used a series of a uh, couple of screw jacks, jack stands, and a f three ton uh, floor jack, hydraulic floor jack, auto jack. But of course, you don't need a three ton jack to lift an 825 pound keel. But that's it's it. you're able to do it. But you do need people to help you to reinstall your uh, keel brackets because somebody's got to be on the inside tightening while the other person on the outside underneath is holding the bolt head. So project complete. I'm going to put the trailer back under sometime here soon. Put new trailer bunks and carpeting on there and uh, should be good to go.